Welcome to the Virtuous Woman of Today podcast. I'm your host, Diana Bryan. Here, we uncover what it takes to become the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 in our generation. We discuss the tools and the puzzle pieces to get there. The virtuous woman is not a myth, and you can be her too. You were called and are destined to be the virtuous woman of today. Are you ready? Blessings and welcome, my beautiful virtuous women of today, to another episode of our podcast. I'm very happy to be here once again with you, bringing you the tools that you need to become that virtuous woman of today. And uh, today's topic is very important and very special to me because it's a secret that has helped me push through and achieve a lot of things in my life, a lot of goals and and incorporate new habits and even when motivation was not there. And today precisely we're answering that question. What do we do when we don't feel motivated? And the first thing that came to mind is remind me of this week precisely when I needed motivation the most because I was recording the videos for YouTube and this podcast and I couldn't find motivation anywhere. I, I was tired. Uh, it's been dark lately here. There is no sunny days and I was not feeling motivated to do it. And precisely because of that, I was so inspired to do this podcast to really remind you that there is something in you that doesn't require motivation. You really don't need motivation. And we will talk about it in a moment. But before we talk about that, I want to under, help you understand like, the Lord help me understand what motivation is. And motivation is simply a state of mind. It's an emotion that you have that it goes according to different factors of life. Once again, if you're feeling, if you ate well, if you drank enough water, if you slept good, if the weather is fine, if your puppy is happy, if your children are behaving, then you're motivated. Otherwise, you have no motivation to do anything. So everything seems to be, or it needs to be kind of aligned in the right way in order for you to feel motivated. And this creates a really toxic relationship with motivation, if you think about it, because when we need it, it's not there. It's not something that we can rely on. It's not something that we can uh, count on because truly it has just vanished from us. It has just disappeared from us. So there is something, a phrase that I said to myself and I, I repeated to myself and I said it this week while I, while I was recording this podcast. I said, when there is no motivation, there is discipline. And that discipline is the secret to everything my loves is what has helped me once again achieve many goals um when i wrote this book the virtuous woman of today i it took a lot of discipline to write the book in zero motivation because the resistance was real and i just decided to do it and i was very disciplined to do it and I have noticed how that has helped different areas of my life and not feeling just motivated, but seeking that discipline that is within me. And the word of God says that Proverbs 6, 23 tells us that discipline is the way, the path to life. That means that whenever we put discipline into whatever we're doing, we're going to see it come past. We're going to see it come through. We're going to see the other side of it. We're going to leave, give life to those goals and those visions that we have, those habits when we are disciplined. But it also tells us in Hebrews 12, 11, that discipline is not an easy thing. It's not something that you can do joyfully. <laughs> Sometimes it requires that extra effort, but it also gives us a promise. And it's that at its time, when we wait for it, we can enjoy the fruits that we rip from being disciplined. And it's like a muscle. It's Discipline is something that the more you do it, the stronger it becomes in you. And that's something that I have experienced in my life. And, and it's a characteristic, once, a, one, once again, of the virtuous woman. She is a disciplined woman. It, she's not a motivated woman. She's a disciplined woman. And that's what the Lord tells us to be and calls us to be. And in order to achieve all those dreams, all those goals, call it, you know, getting up in the morning and going to work and coming back home and writing a book or, or doing whatever dream you have in your mind, in your heart, 
it doesn't require motivation to get it done. It requires discipline to get it done. And this discipline is something that, once again, is already in you. And it starts with little things. Just like a muscle, you can go from a weight, you know, one to a weight 50 one day to the next. You need to little by little and gradually increase um, the the weight of this this weight to be able to develop the muscle is the same thing with discipline and I'm going to give you an example last week I was talking to you at the podcast that um, there is two habits that will help you transform your life and bring balance to every area of your life and I was giving you an example that if you get up at every morning at eight in the morning and you you want to wake up at five, that's your goal. Motivation is not going to help you get up at five. You may be motivated the first one, two, three days maximum, and then your body is going to crave and cry to want to get up eight in the morning. So what you need to do is to start decreasing little by little. You need to, instead of getting up at eight every day, then maybe start getting up at 7.30 and do it for a couple of weeks and then seven and so on and so forth until you are able to conquer getting up at five in the morning. And I have been there, so that's why I can attest to that. So the discipline that you incorporate in there is gradual. In this case, you're decreasing the hours when, when you're sleeping, um, but it's something that you have to do gradually and little by little you exercise the muscle. Next thing you know, you're disciplined to get up every day at five in the morning. And that's something that I share with you as a testimony on that podcast that I can conquer now. I can enjoy getting up at five and having the three first hours of my day for myself and working on the things that are important for my vital things in life. So that discipline is is the muscle that is going to help you achieve everything you set your mind to. And if you're listening to this podcast today and you're watching the videos on YouTube, it's not because I was motivated. It's because I was disciplined to do it. As you're hearing me speak right now, I have zero motivation. It's dark over here. It's raining is that the conditions are not the best. I'm a little tired. I didn't have really a good night of sleep last night yet. I knew today I was going to film this podcast or record this podcast. And the discipline got me to do it, not the motivation because it was not to be found. So discipline will lead you and will help you achieve anything you set your mind to. Anything you want to achieve, call it whatever goal it is, Discipline will get you there, whether it's getting up at five in the morning, writing a book or, you know, getting um, to enjoy your family and have a balanced life. No matter what it is, discipline will get you there. So I wanted to give you the secret today as I was uh, this week struggling with trying to find motivation. It reminded me and I said to myself, when there is no motivation, there is discipline. And I said, this is a good podcast because it's a good characteristic that virtuous woman of today has. And um, that puzzle piece has been given to you. Just put it in practice so you can continue building that puzzle, that beautiful puzzle of the virtuous woman of today that is in you anyways. So my loves, if you're being blessed by this podcast, I encourage you to share it with other women. Invite them to be part of this community we're building of virtuous women that go after what they want and become everything God has called them to be. And subscribe. If you're watching it through YouTube, subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to it through a podcast, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And every week I leave an either something for you to reflect or something for you to take action. And today I just want you to reflect on something. I want you to really think about how many times you have tried to find motivation in your life and it has not been there. Like you cannot find it. And how many times it has failed you over the years. But how many times discipline has failed you? And don't confuse it. Sometimes it's really hard to actually grasp the concept of discipline, remember, is a muscle. You can't expect a huge muscle if you haven't worked on it. But discipline is always there. It's always for you. It's always available to you because it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit to be in discipline. So it is in you. It's just that you need to exercise it. But motivation has always felt you. And I can guarantee that. So that being said, reflect on that. And I think that will really motivate you 
to be more disciplined in your life and that being all remember always that you are the virtuous woman of today and that you are becoming everything God has called you to be and I'll see you next week. <laughs>